Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at some more customs. These are by Maddie Crafts. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. If you haven't, I'm going to be a little confused because he's done a lot of work um, throughout the Mega Constructs community. But I feel like his like his thing has become Flood Customs. He's kind of the king of Flood Customs. So today we're going to be looking at some Flood Customs that he sent to me. And honestly, these things are really, really disturbing. So let's go ahead and take a look, starting with that Infected Elite. Alrighty, so here we are. This guy looks like he was once an Honor Guard, judging by the shoulder piece and the Honor Guard helmet that's all twisted up back here. And the base figure looks painted. It's a really nice silver. Would have been a really cool color if he had survived the flood invasion. But clearly he did not. And the biomass is so gross. Like this is, honestly, it's like, I'm not even sure if I want to touch it. Because it's just that gross looking. So we've got the little like feeler bits here. Kind of the mound that usually forms around them. Uh, underneath you can see the armor is broken. There's a piece of the chest plate under there. Biomass is forming around here, like spore, I don't know, something, something nasty. You see it's broken around the back. The structural integrity of the Elite's, like, skeleton is just gone. You can see it's spreading down here. The legs are mostly uninfected, probably because the Flood still wants to be able to move around. But this arm has become this terrifying claw thing. That looks like it would be something that would reach for you out of your nightmares. Uh, the hand is still there. It almost looks like you could still have the Elite hold something. And then we can see the neck is destroyed. And the head has been twisted up back here. And there's like purple. As well as some more purple here of like the blood from the Elite. This is absolutely disgusting. And way, way more accurate than any flood form Mega would ever make. Like, there's just no way. Not like the way this is finished and the texturing on it, it's just ugh. That's quite another level here. And I gotta say, full points for accuracy here. Like, that is probably as accurate as you can get for a figure this size. The Elite was not the only figure here. We have a Marine who, unfortunately, also did not survive the Flood Invasion. Looks like she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And this is just as gross, although I think the finish on the Elite is a little bit more disgusting looking than this one. This finish looks a little bit more like Mega's like Flood color. But it's still way, way more than Mega would ever do. Like, we've got all the little lumps here. Once again, the mound that kind of forms around the feelers. Uh, oh, there's a piece of busted armor here. Piece of busted armor on the other side. This arm is entirely flood infected, so we can see biomass up here. And then those terrifying claws. And it looks like the claws are kind of bloody a little bit. And we have some more blood here. And on the leg, and once again, the legs are mostly uninfected to allow for the flood to walk around. This arm is mostly uninfected, probably makes it easier to uh, hold on to a weapon that way. Around the back, we can see the armor is breaking still. And again, the just integrity of the marine spine is just gone. That is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Like, seriously, this the Flood is just such a horrifying concept, and then seeing it brought to life in this way, yeah, that's, that's quite something. But we are not done yet, not by a long shot. So right here we have the Banished Chopper, and the Flood have decided that it would be useful to completely overrun this and turn it into their own kind of rolling death machine. So... We have the chopper, and it's been just completely overtaken. There's, like, tentacles wrapping around the guns. All kinds of disgusting, just biomass chunks. There's, like, some up there. There's just smears of 
flood everywhere, more tentacles. And then moving to the back, we can see what appears to be a mound of victors. Look at that. You can see poor Victor's heads in there and the backpack. There's a foot sticking out right here. And then looks like the blue is maybe the grunt's blood. That's what Victor blood looks like, I guess. So it looks like there's three of them here and they've been merged together to form both the seat and the pilot of this chopper. So we have the biomass reaching out and using one of the grunt's hands to grab here. And then this turns into a big tentacle and ends in a grunt arm that has a lump of biomass on the end to kind of grab on and steer the thing, which it probably has better reaction time than just a person driving the vehicle since, you know, this mass is the vehicle now. But poor Victor, look at that. He's just, what a way to go out. Uh, the chopper does not twist, like the, the wheel does not twist by itself anymore, which is understandable because like the flood is just going over the entire thing. Who knows if the flood would even steer it properly. They would just kind of crash through things. And then it looks like we've also got some battle damage here, just some scarring, some, I don't know, maybe that's bullet marks. A chunk of the metal is taken out right here. That is terrifying. Just think about you're just walking along like on a halo ring somewhere and this comes flying out of the darkness and you realize there's nobody driving it. There's just a lump of flesh on the end that was once some grunts. Like, good grief. Really, really well done. The Like I was saying with the Elite, the finish here is kind of what makes the whole thing work because it's it just looks like flesh it's so disgusting but that's also so accurate well there you have it that is a taste of matty crafts flood creating expertise and i just gotta say this is probably the most accurate flood customs i have seen the, you know fl the flood seems to be fairly popular as a thing for people to make customs of but not everyone gets the finish correctly. I've seen people get the texturing really good, but the finish on these figures, especially on the Honor Guard, is really, really well done. It looks like flesh, and that's really what makes it so disgusting. The texturing is really, really good, but the way that it's finished, oh, it's just so gross. So... A huge thanks to Matty Crafts for sending me these so I can review them. If you want to go see more of his work, you can check him out on YouTube. I will have the link to his channel down in the description. Or you can go and follow him on Instagram. I will put the link there as well. Or you could do both. That seems like the best option to me. So definitely go check him out because this is basically the one stop for flood stuff. I know he's made some really big flood-related dioramas. I think he might have made a grave mind as well. So go check him out. Links will be in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.